Hey learners, welcome to my channel. How are you all? Hope you all are doing great. Today we will discuss about the protein estimation by Lori's method. Without wasting time, we will have a look at the requirements and the preparation of the chemicals. Freshly prepared standard BSA solution 0.1 mg per ml and reaction mixture. Reaction mixture is nothing but a suitable or desired extract prepared to study. To prepare reaction mixture, in a mortar, homogenize 0.5 gram of matki seeds in 10 ml distilled water. Transfer the content in a centrifuge tube and subject it for centrifugation. Instead of centrifugation, one can simply filter the content through muslin cloth. After centrifugation, transfer the content in a 100 ml measuring cylinder and make the volume up to 100 ml with distilled water. The resulting content can be used as reaction mixture. Then you need distilled water. Reagent C which is prepared by mixing reagent A and reagent B just prior to use. To prepare Folinsio calcium phenol reagent, dilute the reagent with equal volume of distilled water just before use. Label 10 test tubes for standard, one for blank, one for reaction mixture. Before proceeding further, I request you to take a breath, like, share, subscribe my channel and comment down below the name of the plant you would take to study the proteins. Proteins, especially the aromatic amino acids like tyrosine and tryptophan, react with copper present in the reagent A. The reaction is carried out in alkaline condition particularly provided by reagent A and B together. This will form a protein copper intermediate which will reduce the phosphomolybdate of folin's reagent and form a blue color complex which is measured colorimetrically at 625 nanometer. First, to prepare setup for standard, measure 0.1 ml of standard BSA solution and pour it in the test tube labeled as 0.1. Here I am using micro pipette where 100 microliter is equals to 0.1 ml. Go on increasing the volume of standard up to 1 ml. Remember, no standard protein solution to be added in the test tube of blank and reaction mixture. In the test tube of RM, measure 0.1 ml of reaction mixture. Make the volume of each test tube up to 2 ml with distilled water. Refer this table to understand how much amount of distilled water to be added in each test tube.
Add 5 ml of reagent C in each test tube and mix the content thoroughly. Let the setup stand for 10 minutes at room temperature. After standby, add 0.5 ml of Follin's reagent in each test tube and shake the test tubes vigorously. Now let the setup stand for 20 minutes at room temperature. After standby, read the OD at 625 nanometer. Here 625 nanometer falls under the working range of 580 to 640. Hence corresponding filter 620 nanometer is set. Rinse the covet with distilled water before use. Set the absorbance of distilled water at zero with the adjusting knob. First read the OD of blank, then standard and then reaction mixture. Rinse the covet with distilled water after each reading.
after all the measurements save the energy calculate the delta od by subtracting the od of blank from od of reaction mixture or standard and make the observation table plot a straight line graph taking the concentration of a standard protein on x axis and delta od on y axis mark and connect all the points plot the delta od of reaction mixture on y axis and draw an intercept on the straight line draw down a perpendicular line on x axis and note the concentration here it is 0.7 mg per ml calculate the amount of protein in 100 mg of plant material accordingly and here is the final result thank you for watching